So guys, I'm going to go over now how to... Uh, let's get rid of Cheduku. You've been very helpful, Cheduku. But let's start up here. <laughs> I'm going to go over how to uh, set up a shop thread and use procurement. Procurement is a piece of software here that allows you to search your shop threads and even do such radical things as price buyouts. So you can put down, put in a buyout and then you can use this feature just here to essentially export a bunch of code which you can then use to create a shop thread. So what I'm going to do is first is just for you guys who have just arrived. The first, the first step is to actually get procurement. If you search procurement path of exile in Google using them Google strats you'll see a forum thread just here gameplay discussion forum thread and there is procurement with a bunch of info and uh, you can download it just from there so easy mode download it uh, log in or use the session ID system which is explained in the thread there uh, to log in to the game and uh, it'll scan your stash tabs which will take a while so after you have done this there is two things we need to do first we need to uh, set up well, set up a, a shop thread. I think I already have a shop thread ready to go. So I'll just go to where is total forum post. I should just be able to see my recent forum post. There we go. I think I already have a shop thread. There we go. So here's, here's, here's one. You go to uh, your, your league. So let me just go to the forum index here. Go to the forums. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see trading. Find your league. So I'm playing in ambush and we want to go to ambush trading shops. So in there, you simply click in here, and then you create a new thread by clicking new thread there. You can title it whatever you want, and uh, and then we simply, I'm going to delete all this stuff because I'm going to be updating this shop thread from scratch. So I'm just going to get rid of all this, and we'll leave that for now. Okay, next strategy. Second part. Second part is to create uh, tabs in which has you have the things you want to sell. Try and make it make sense for you, whatever system works for you. Uh, I'm going to start off very basic. I'm going to have... Uniques tab, I'm going to have quality quality gems, uniques, and a selling tab of things that might be worth a little bit of money. So this is all the stuff that I'm selling on this character just here, basically. If you sell a lot of things, you may want to split them up into like boots, gloves, make it easy to find because you don't want to spend 15 minutes whenever someone PMs you about an item searching for the item. So this is my, this is my setup just here. I may also uh, put some like multi-strikes and GMP because they those tend to sell. I'll put a reduced mana in there as well, and I'll just put these in there in the cell tab and I'll just keep in mind that I have that there but this is only just a this is only just for the example all right next step we, t we take out procurement which should have scanned you may need to rescan and reopen procurement if you have reorganized your tabs after you've opened it like it'll scan at once so I will probably need to go to stash make sure you have your league selected I'm gonna go to uh, we should have if I go to cell I can right click this and refresh this, which will rescan it. Hold on, that's not the cell tab. <laughs> uh oh, I may have broken it. <laughs> this is my vendor tab. Hold on, oh, there we go, refresh. I think I may have broken it, guys. Okay, I, I've confused this, I've confused it by moving my stash tabs around. It'll be okay. This is my cell tab. So, from there, we can simply go and price these things. I'm just gonna go buy out. One chaos. I'm gonna go one alk because it's it's a crappy five link. Whatever. If someone wants to pay an alk for it, I'll do that. Orb of alchemy. Save. It's priced. This one, I just go whatever. One alk as well. I'm just gonna price off super cheap with buyouts. It's a good idea to price with buyouts. There's a potential crafting item. Whatever. We'll save it for a chaos. We'll see if anyone wants to trade it. We'll just go one one chaos. Buy out one chaos. Nice and easy. Buy out. I'll go an alk for. Uh, you can, you can check the prices using path, uh, PoE XYZ IS, which is, if you are unsure about prices, you can go to this site just here, PoE XYZ IS, and uh, I have a video on YouTube about uh, pr how to price items, but essentially you can use this site to search for items in your league and find the things that people have priced them for. So if you're unsure about that, that's how to go about that. But I have a video on that if you want to check it out on YouTube. I'll just price these guys out for one. What, what, what's multi-strike worth? It's worth like a couple chaos. Here we go. We'll, we'll actually use this now since I'm, I'm unsure of what multi-strike is worth at the moment. Multi-strike. And I'll just click buyout only, search. And we'll search by buyout and see what people pay for multi-strike. Someone's selling it for less than a chaos. Whatever, I'll, I'll, sell, I'll sell it for a chaos then. That's fine. We'll go a chaos for... We'll go a chaos for... For multi strike, one chaos. Uh, Bright beak is worth usually one chaos, so I'll just I'll just price that for one chaos. I don't want deer stalkers worth. I'll just sell it for a chaos. Chaber I might actually check the price on. 
Chova, Chava. What is this thing worth? Three chaos. Ten alterations. One chaos. I'll price. I'll price for. I'll price for. We'll price for a chaos. We'll price for a chaos as well. So we'll go buy out for one chaos here. And you can you can price all the buyouts. Safel's frame is something that's actually worth a bit of currency. I don't need to use this, so I can probably sell that as well. Uh, this one is actually worth a bit. Safel. All right, let's see what the minimum price Safel's are. Two chaos for what? What is it? What are our rolls like? We have 74% uh, block chance, 28% spell damage. 74, 28, 71, 28, 72, 24, 74. Alright, so like four chaos for ones with low block chance for around our block chance. We'll, I'll go for like three chaos. If we're if we're unsure and we don't want to price everything, we can literally just leave stuff unpriced, and people will still be able to PM us about it, and you can like, negotiate a price then. Uh, quality gems, I'll probably just leave those cheap. Uh, it might be a good idea to price some of these guys nice and cheap. Lightning warp. I'll just go like I'm just gonna go a chaos for each of these. I'm just gonna go for cheap, fast sales. Don't even have to spend time price checking. But then what we're going to do is go, um, you can check which tabs these are, so we're going to quality, uniques, and it should be the vendor tab we're getting just here. And then we're going to grab all this code just here, we're going to copy it, so I just controlled C, we're going to we're going to paste it in here, you can edit any of this stuff to your liking, so I like, um, please message me here in game, I just say please message me in game, because I don't check my forum thread. My forum stuff. My name is Cascadie D, and then we're good to go. Now it's been a while since I posted this thread, so I'll give it a bump as well. You can bump your threads every one hour, and that'll show you up as online. Maybe I'm not sure. And bump. You're allowed to post. You're you're allowed to bump your threads uh, every hour. Now Poe X Y Z will show you up as as online for people searching. If you are on the ladders, there is another method to do it though. There is some tutorials and stuff you can check out for that. But that's usually that's the main, that's the bulk of it basically. So now we have this Neato shop thread here with all of our stuff listed and and buyouts for people to search. And if people search on Poe X Y Z or Poe Explorer, they'll now find our shop thread and we're good to go. And now we just let it make money for us. People will people will message us. And uh, we should we should get some sales hopefully soon. So there you go, guys. That's 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 the process. That is how to use procurement. That's the basics of using procurement. There's a lot more advanced stuff you can do. Like you can price entire threads. Like you can have like a one chaos thread and price everything as one chaos. But that's the basics of it. And then what I do is I just leave procurement up. And then uh, as I when I add things to when I add a bunch of stuff to one of the one of the tabs, I'll go back to procurement and I'll simply refresh the tab. So let's say I just I just added two new uniques I want to sell. I'll just refresh the tab, and then I'll go in and grab uh, re reset the code. So you just unselect and reselect all the code there, and then copy paste it into the thread again and update the thread that way. And there you go, guys. That's the strategy. Register on XYZ and they will send you a link exclusive to you to click to log in for one hour at a time. Okay, Sinfil, there you go. So you can register on XYZ and then uh, they will send you a link so you can show up as online. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate that. And that is it, guys. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Our shop thread is now up and running in the background. Getting some sales already. And me, the Enhance. Oh, making, making all the sales. <laughs> GG. I can give you the the enhance man. What did I price the enhance for? I can just go. So if you wanna if you wanna find stuff, you can you can actually go enhance, and then it'll it'll find it for you. It's like that's like the best feature in the world. I priced the enhance for one chaos. Man, I'm cheap. How do I log into procurement with Steam? You use the session ID system. It uh they, it goes through it in the forum thread. I've never used it, so I don't know how to. Explode derpily. There you go. Thank you, sir. Three chaos already. Easy mode. A lot easier for a streamer. Yeah, there is some exposure for a streamer, but before I streamed, and remember, I only been streaming for a few months. I uh, I did it all the way you guys would do it. You know, I've done it all the way you guys would do it, and it's it's literally not that different to this. <laughs> you will get lots of messages whenever you bump your shop thread, because you'll show up as online and people searching will find your stuff. Uh, did someone? I think I missed my way to so buy Safels. Great stream, by the way. Sure, man. Welcome in. How much did I price Safels for? Let's let's check it. Three chaos, three chaos of bells, man. Yeah, YouTubers don't get the same thing that streamers get. Streamers do get easier sales, it is true. And I try and counteract it by bro dealing people and pricing things cheap. 
but uh, when I when I was just YouTubing, I didn't have that same exposure, and I traded the same way you guys would, and it works it works really well. I traded in Nemesis League a lot, and made a lot of currency doing that. There's six chaos. Now we're already part of the way there towards our uh, towards our Rise of the Phoenix now.